How we doing, guys? Dime Big G here, and today Arsenal just made a little bit of well, they did make history. They advanced to the quarterfinals of the Champions League, and they were celebrating like crazy on the field, which is understandable because they've made it to the quarterfinals of the Champions League since the 2010 Champions League, which was 15 years ago, basically, or well, 14 years, but. It's been a long time for Arsenal fans, man. And finally, they get through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And yeah, man, it's absolutely crazy because I was doing a little bit of digging. I was going to make a little edit or whatever. Um, because, you know, a little 15 to 30 second, you know, clip or video or whatever. And I was curious, who did Arsenal play against in the 2010 Champions League? And who did they advance against to get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League then? And I looked it up and I went on UEFA Champions League's website and it was FC Porto. I thought, ah, so the exact same team they played today. Now, this was almost 15 years ago. What are the odds of both of these teams playing each other basically 15 years later? They're both on the same side of the table. They both get through the table because either team could have been knocked out, even though Arsenal blitzed their way through the table. I, I don't know how good Porto did on the table, but it doesn't really matter. The odds of both of these teams playing each other again, it's very, very astounding. It, it's very, very, it's, it's insane to me. Coincidence, you think it's a coincidence or not? It's just very, very wild that the exact same two teams play each other again and Arsenal advance against the same team that they did 15 years ago today to make history again. Because Arsenal's history in the Champions League is very, very small. They obviously did get to the Champions League final in the 2005 Champions League with Henri, or it could have been the 2006 or seven. It was definitely within that gap. So they have been to the Champions League finals. Obviously, they lost. But I just found it astounding that they make history again in 15 years, get to the Champions League quarterfinals against the exact same team they did it against the last time. It could have been any other team in the Champions League. It could have been any other team. You, you know, There's 32 teams in the Champions League. 32-16-8-4-2. That's how it goes. It had to be Porto again. I find that astounding. Whether you think it's a coincidence or not, that's astounding to me. Very, very astounding. It's very, very astounding to me. And if you look at the um, aggregate today, right, for the Barcelona game, aggregate is the aggregate score over two legs. There's obviously two legs in the round of 16. And the penalty score in the penalty shootout Arsenal had, they won 4-2 on penalties. It's been confirmed. And Barcelona today won 4-2 on aggregate. Now, when you look at the quarterfinals, who did Barcelona play against in the 2010 quarterfinals? Arsenal. So they both won 4-2 today. Arsenal won 4-2 on penalties. Barcelona won 4-2 on aggregate. I find that weird because the, the way that links up is wild. Coincidence or not. If Arsenal and Barcelona play each other in the Champions League quarterfinals, I, I don't know what to say because... For that to link up again like that, just like in the 2010 Champions League, for it to happen again the exact same way, for Porto to go out to Arsenal and for Arsenal to knock out Porto again for the first time in 15 years, and they do it again, and they play Barcelona again, and they go out again, or they go through, that's that's insane to me. But we will have to see. We will have to see. Because um, Arteta links to Barcelona very, very heavily. Obviously, he played for Barcelona's B team. The goalkeeper who plays for Arsenal right now, who's in for Ramsdale, is Spanish. David Raya. So he obviously connects to Arteta. Arteta, Pep, Pep Guardiola. Obviously, Arteta was Pep's assistant at Man City. Pep Guardiola links a lot to Barcelona. Obviously, when Messi was there. You know, when Arsenal played Barcelona, I'm pretty sure Arteta was playing for Arsenal. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure Arteta was playing. And I think Pep was the coach. Mind-blowing stuff. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Arteta was playing in 2010. I'm 90% I'm sure he was. And I'm pretty sure he played in this game. It, it could have been Jack Wilshere, but I, I don't know if Arteta was at Everton or he was at Arsenal. But the, the, the link-up is going to be crazy. If, if Arsenal and Barcelona play each other again in the quarterfinals... For the first time after Arsenal make history again, getting through to the quarterfinals in 15 years, the odds of that is insane. For the exact same lineup to come out like that, like the same, the same out, not outcome, but the same teams, ratio, 
Nah, man. And, and Arsenal and Barcelona both won 4-2, respectively. Barcelona won 4-2 on aggregate. Arsenal won 4-2 on penalties. It will be insane. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Coincidence or not, I don't think it's a coincidence. It, it's, it, it's wild to me. That That's wild. That's absolutely insane. And a lot of Arsenal fans don't even know this, or the average fan doesn't even know this, because I had to look it up. And I saw some people saying that it was from um, Arsenal got to the Champions League quarterfinals in 2012, and they didn't. They got knocked out. I'm pretty sure it was by Milan or Inter, or wh whatever team it was. I, I forgot off the top of my head. Arsenal fans let me know. But it's crazy. Even some Arsenal fans don't even know this. This is crazy. But, yeah, it's been with IMC, guys, and I'm out. Peace out.